So let's begin with our market panel as we kick off this final week of August. Joining us now is Lisa Shallot of Morgan Stanley Wealth Management and Scott Wren of Wells Fargo Investment Institute. Uh, good afternoon to you both. Lisa, I'll start with you. I mean, the pullback we've seen, yes, we're higher on the day right now for the major averages, but we're still poised for, for losses on the month. Is this just a summertime pullback after a strong run to start the year that's to be expected, or could it be more? You know, our perspective is that there's more going on here and that, you know, what we're seeing is markets struggling uh, to figure out uh, how long rates are going to be higher for longer. The move in real rates, uh, we believe, is a material headwind to uh, stock valuation multiples. And our best guess is that stocks are trying to figure out uh, that calculus with regard to the direction of rates. Yeah, Scott, I want to get your thoughts on that, too, because, yes, we've seen uh, yields take a breather today, but the rapid climb we have seen in interest rates. How much pressure well, I, does that put on, on the stock market here? Yeah, Morgan, I think it does put pressure on the stock market. And not that, you know, even if we trade to four and a half or something like that on the 10-year, I mean, that's not the end of the world by any stretch. But I think what when we think of rates, uh, we don't think rates are going to go a whole lot higher from here. Uh, but we certainly think the Fed is not done hiking interest rates. Uh, we think that uh, they're going to be higher for longer. Um, and, and really, when you look at... Um, some of the headwinds that are out there, uh, in our opinion, earnings estimates are too high. Um, uh, credit's tighter out there, and that's not going to change anytime soon. So I, I think, you know, if we tested the recent highs, we'd have a heck of a hard time getting through that. So we're looking for a pullback from here. Uh, we're fading this rally. We've been doing that really on the uh, most of the way up. Lisa, so what's an investor to do? Because the danger is uh, stocks never have a big plunge overall, and so folks are waiting on the sidelines for, for something that for an entry point that never really arrives. So how do you avoid missing out on the growth potential that exists in certain stocks um, you know, that might seem expensive now, but they might just sort of wobble over time into being not so expensive? Yeah, look, I, I appreciate the challenges of, of market timing, and it's one of the re reasons uh, that we advise our clients never to try to do that, uh, that you've got to have a strategy where your dollar cost averaging in, and it's really just a, a, a question of uh, your conviction. If you have low conviction, as we do today, we're encouraging our clients to dollar cost average in over a period of the next 12 months. If you're more bullish, you would dollar cost average in over only three months. Uh, but right now, you know, our best advice is if you want that market exposure, if you're afraid of being uh, out of stocks, uh, that perhaps a more balanced risk approach would be to own the equal weighted S&P 500 uh, that doesn't necessarily carry some of the, the sector concentration and the uh, name concentration uh, that we're seeing in, in that market cap weighted index, which, you know, albeit uh, is dominated by those magnificent seven, but those magnificent seven may not be magnificent forever. Mm. And Scott, uh, why do you think we're going to start to feel the lag effects of the rate hikes more in Q4? Well, John, I think that, uh, you know, really we're, we're, we're starting to feel them. It's been slow. I think a lot of this uh, deficit government spending that we've seen has pushed the economy long, along for longer uh, than what we thought maybe it would a year ago. Uh, but I think that, that when these rate hikes, as these rate hikes kick in and the economy slows, um, the market's going to stumble here and it's going to stumble further. But I think that's an opportunity. And so what we've been trying to talk to our clients about is, you know, let's say the market's down to 4,100. Maybe we see it a little bit lower than that. You know, that, that's an opportunity. You need to be ready for the pullback because you want to step in when the market's down, when you're a little nervous about stepping in. Um, when it's tough to step in. So that's what we've been talking to our clients about. You know, we don't want to buy stocks after a gigantic rally and it's near the top of the range. That's not the time to buy stocks. You want to do it when you're looking out a couple of years uh, when they're down. So we've been sitting on some cash. We backed off of technology. We backed off of equities in general over the course of the last couple of months. And we're parking that cash really in short-term treasuries. And should we get this pullback that we expect, you know, we're going to put some money to work at lower levels.